But yeah, this is One's Human chat. Shout out to One's Human for the sponsor to play today. Um, I don't really know. Do I just want to enter game? Do I want to pick like a server? Or how does this even work? I actually like this game a lot. Building is a lot of fun. Yeah, I've heard I heard quite positive things about it. Um, phase day four. Check the settings first. I set up a little bit of my settings b prior to like the stream. Yeah, I set up something prior. I'm not sure if you can only play online or how that really works. PVE 14. Ah, so there's PVP servers and there's PVE. Okay, maybe I should try to just go on a PVE to begin with. Because I might get absolutely destroyed. Alright. Yeah, I, I think I might be. PvP? Go PvE. So what are these? All scenarios, Manibus, Novus. Oh, so these are all the servers. Okay, I think in the beginning, I want to just learn the game a little bit, okay? And see some bosses and stuff like that, okay? Uh, no, it's not an MMO. It's like a, uh, it's a survival game, man. PvE, Puso. You guys are gonna piss me off. You guys are gonna piss me off with that PvE stuff. Okay, fine. You know what? Fine. Let's just go on a PvP server and see what happens, okay? But some of these servers are on day four. Uh, should I choose one of these? I don't think I should, because they're probably really far in already, right? This is PvP servers and this is PvE servers. All the populations are mid here. Right? Maybe we just choose the first one, just this one. Conflict the theme of the world and the frontier has... Okay, so these are on day two. Maybe I gotta join one that's on day one. Take a new one. This is on day one. Let's go on this one. PvP 19, day one. Confirm. Conflict is a new theme of the world and a frontier has become a battleground of the metahumans. With strongholds changing hands constantly, now your warband needs you. Fight together for survival. Okay. Enter game. Uh, yes. Confirm. Yeah, co confirm. As flies... Wait, what? What's this? Our lives have followed a long path. Oh, shoot. But eventually, all roads reach their end. I like the music. Our world is broken, stagnant, fallen into the abyss. Okay. What is that but big thing? Everything is born from darkness. Even the universe itself. Okay. Now, do you see it? A glimmer within the void. The spark of life still burns, and evolution forges a new way forward. Okay. Ah, flashbang. Once your faith overcomes despair. Once you move beyond death. Once life returns to this world. We'll meet beyond that path. Okay, so it's like a post-apocalyptic setting, I guess. Have a prime straight from the land of freedom units. Uh, yo, thank you so much, man. Appreciate that.
Okay, so I there's some character creation stuff. All right, cool. Thank you, Jellycreed, for the 21 months. Uh, okay, can I focus a little bit more on the face, maybe? Uh, maybe I can just, like, pick one that looks a little bit like me. Arc survival vibes? Yeah, okay. This is, like, presets. I'll just go for one that looks kind of like me. This guy looks a little bit like me with the physique, I guess. Uh... Mm, build Savix? I'm not gonna build Savix! Illidan! He kinda looks like Illidan actually, yeah, with the little doo -doo. Uh This guy looks a little bit like me, I think. A little bit like me. Hairline side. Okay, bro. What? Why did they name it like that? Hairline width. Doesn't change anything. Okay, there's, it, it, it like, uh, changes a little bit of the stuff. Uh, forehead. Okay, I have a big forehead because I'm really smart. Alright, I'm very, very, very smart. Temples? Dude, there's actually quite a lot of customization here. Okay. There it is. Uh, cheekbones. I have pretty defined cheekbones, I think. They they don't do a lot. Like the settings actually don't change a whole lot. I, I wish they did a little bit more, right? Cheekbone recession, like that maybe. Cheeks. Can I change my cheeks? A little bit skinnier, I guess. Cheek recession. It does feel the same. It's it's like very minor. Very minor stuff, right? Oh my god! <laughs> Dude, he just turned into a cha- Okay! Damn! Alright. Oh, he's got that apple chin now. Holy! Dude. Oh my god! That is an actual holy. He's chatted. Wait, he's actually chatted. Damn. Maybe make his forehead a little bit smaller, like this. Like that. Oh my god, he dude, he looks good. Wait, this guy looks tight. Jawline. There it is. Okay. Protrude a little bit more. <laughs> Dude. This guy has been doing his jaw exercises. Damn. Oh my god. Bro was mewing inside the womb. Holy crap. Yeah, he looks like a handsome Squidward, actually. You're not right. Uh, Alright, I like it. I like it. The biggest chat of them all. Hair and makeup. Okay. Uh, there's not too much hair. I can go with a short one, I guess. Maybe this. I can't... Dude, boss cuts are actually good looking. Slim Shady. I, you know, Slim Shady. Maybe we go with this one, right? If we're if we're making the chat. Didn't, the chat has this one, right? <laughs> we're actually making... Yeah, we're making Geek Chat chat, okay? That's what we're doing. There we go. Nice body. Height. Fitness. That is not what I expected. That is not what I expected. What? <laughs> Wait, what the... What? Oh my lord. This... There. there. That looks pretty good. Yeah, he's actually a fridge. You know what? We're gonna go fridge. 
We're gonna be a fridge build, guys, okay? We're a fridge build. Can I- can I give him a beard? Is that a thing? I want- I want to give him a beard. Oh, here! I can change the brows and stuff. What is this? <laughs> Dude, he's actually like a fridge as well. <laughs> this guy's a fridge too. Um... Okay, um... There we go. Uh, Alright. I like these eyebrows. I think these are good. Nice eyes. Oh, there's like makeup. Oh, he's kind of edgy. He's a little bit edgy with the makeup. Okay, we'll do that. Dude, <laughs> what is this? Okay. Ooh, some nice luscious lips. Why are those... Oh, that's... Okay, that's like... That's a little bit too luscious for me. Maybe just like normal. Just like normal lips. Huh? How about that? Let's, let's just do normal lips. Let's, let, let's do that. Uh, skin pattern. Oh my god, he became old? There, honestly, there is actually a decent amount of customization in this game. There is... Freckles? Nah. Warpath. Dude, I'm like American Psycho. What is this? Jesus Christ. Oh my god. Uh, where is the beards, though? Is there no beards? That's almost a shame. I wish there were some beards. Uh, Alright, are we happy with this, guys? Yeah, I think this looks pretty good. Wait, can I actually just... Oh, I can full-on just like... Oh, okay, you can like, kind of choose any color you want. Almost. I'll just go with like... Like a little bit of a tan, right? Like that. I think that's good. Rate this guy's jaw. Dude, he is a jaw. Oh my lord. Alright. Uh, that's good. Okay, we're rocking the fridge build, guys. Yeah. We're rocking the fridge build. There it is. Okay, name character. Uh, I am gonna name myself Gonk. I, I think Gonk is a good name for this guy. Gonk. There we go. Uh, With nitrogen, negative 195.79 Celsius. Oh, cool. brain function. Not detected. Subject status stable. <clears throat> Dagger still stuck in the sheath. Inspection 481 complete. <sighs> Requesting a higher power outlay for the isolation chamber to prevent any further outages. Oh, what is happening? Secure me, breach. Secure me, breach. Um. Okay. What is happening? Dude, what is going on? There is definitely some supernatural stuff going on right now. Remove F. Okay. A, a completely normal day. Yeah, normal day at the office. Dude, look at that fridge build. Holy, those legs. Take activator. Okay. Use activator. So this is like a healing? Okay. 
Dude, he, he, he's done his squats, man. This guy has... He's got a dumper, bro. Okay. Alright. Use the mouse to adjust the direction of the camera's facing. Oh, okay. Initiate sprint using stamina. Where is my stamina? Okay, so I see like a bunch of bars in the middle of the screen. I have hunger, I have thirst, I have stamina, I guess. Left click is a strong attack and right... Left click is weak attack and right click is strong attack. You can roll on control and you can use tab to use your function wheel apparently. N is flashlight. Okay. Stamina, sanity, thirst and hunger. Yeah, I mean it's a survival game, right? Okay. Access code for the Chrono Race Experiment Era must be charged daily. The, today's code is D26 is 0728. Okay, 0728 is the code. Uh, tasks you're currently tracking are displayed in the top left corner of the screen. Okay, got it. Let's do it. Wait, what was the code? I forgot. Oh, no, 0728. Oh, wait, 0728. Oh, got it. Nice. Alright, let's see what's here. Access card. I guess we can get the access card from this dude. An a intact cradle was recovered near subject A07 with a design and manufacture consistent with those used by the Mayflies. Energy stored within the cradle shows unusual signs of activity. The cradle has been placed in a separate room for safekeeping. Okay. Did I get anything out of that? Find the access card and enter it into the lab. We got it from this guy, I guess. Yeah, I like it so far. It's cool. Oh, gosh. Dude, the blood matches so well with the cutscenes. Okay. You won't last long if you ignore your stamina, sanity, and hydration. Hold on, let me go a little bit up for this game and make myself a little bit smaller, I guess, like this, so you guys can see better. Okay, so we need to make sure we have... This is my survival stance. Okay, the introduction so far is pretty nice. Consume food and drink to keep your energy and hydration. It's a good idea to keep some hotkey for that. Open the backpack to check obtained food. Okay, so I is backpack. They're organized into special item tasks. Most of the ingredients and dishes have durability, which gradually, gradually decays over time. That's normal for a survival game, yeah. Uh, you can equip most items to the hotkey for easy access. Okay, got it. Your backpack has a load limit. Organize the backpack. Oh, there's an auto automize. Oh! Good job, good job. Auto-organize button, that's nice, we like that. Okay, so it's split up into material, special, construction and deviations, and tools. Okay, so the bags are quite nice so far. Grant access to the lab. Uh, okay, we got this. Okay, so we have a survival thing. There's also some cosmetics. Ah. Okay, so there's like a MTX. There's some cosmetics you can get as well. Oh wait, so there's pistols, shotguns. Oh my god, SMGs? Rifles? Sniper rifles? LMGs? Crossbows? Apparently I have a crossbow skin already. Heavy weapon, melee, swords... Okay, wanna play with me now? <laughs> uh, okay? Sick, cool. All right, trying to figure out everything out here. Um, events. Ah, oh, so once we've done the Eve of Illusions, this is like the introduction. Okay, talk. Talk to this strange bird. Well, it's good to see another face. How does it? I thought I was on my own. Okay. Uh, next. And you're a metahuman too. You, what do you call me, a metahuman? I don't know who you are, but I know what you are. You awakened the cradle, 
And that's something only a metahuman could do. You've lost your memory. Do you remember who you are? Uh, what happened? It must have been that fluctuation just now. It trapped me in the cradle. It could have robbed you of your memories. You can call me V. V. It seems that our interests are aligned, metahuman. Um, why did you come here? I came to secure a deviation. A paper butterfly. But I think something must have scared it. Right now, deviation? Though, we need to move. I can show you the way out of this place, but only if you help me complete my mission first. Alright, all you have to do is listen to what I tell you. I can do that. I'm a great listener. Okay, so you're kind of getting a little bit thrown into the whole thing. It's like, I don't even understand what's happening, but I guess like it'll slowly unfold as we're playing. Explore the monolith interior and find the exit. Press Q to use space time to search for items in the monolith. Q? Oh! So it's like a... Uh, a way to try to search for items. Okay, got it. That's cool. Weapon crate. A machete, claim all. Nice. The equipment you are going to equip is shown here. If this slot is empty, that means you have no weapon equipped. Okay, it also has durability as well. Yeah, got it. Nice. Can we go through here? So that's gonna. Oh, is that a mob? Heavy attack melee. Okay. Oh, you can backstab. This is a life form that has been infected with stardust. It's called a deviant. Our world has been overrun with deviants ever okay. since Starfall. Ordinary humans can't take high levels of stardust exposure. When they do, they end up just like that thing. But ah. you're that You should be fine. Hold. Ooh, the combat is kind of nice. To your advantage. Hold on, let me turn up the sound a little bit, guys. Give me one sec. I want to head a little bit higher. I played a bit earlier so far I broke with my legs because I keep jumping down from high places. The combat feels pretty good actually. I'm, uh, it feels pretty nice. Wait, can I touch these? Oh, I can't. Nice. I uh, played a bit earlier so far I broke my legs and I keep jumping down from high places. Oh, I got a rustic hat! Yo! Wicked! Cool. K gear in gear backpack. The armor you currently have equipped in your armor slots, click to remove or switch out your armor. Ah, uh, okay, so you see HP pollution resist and PSI resist. Okay, so you can have a necklace, you can have this, a chest, legs and feet and, and, and gloves, okay. Cool, you're gonna have two guns as well. Glitch in the Gooser brain? What did I do? I don't remember. Uh... Notes can be found scattered all over the world. Read them to learn about the past. Okay. Do we go? Th this one is red over here. Can we go through the red one? Oh, is this like portal? Oh my lord, that's cool. Sorry, that's nice. I like that. Portal is a go-to game for real. Materials and some fabric. Got it. Hey, this game is pretty sick so far. And, guys, it's completely free to play. This game is actually fully free on Steam. Yep, exclamation mark one human in the chat, guys. Check it out. I got some shoes. Tier one, okay. Okay, so you can... Wait, I want to see if I can dodge an attack. Hold. Oh, you can! Let's go, let's go. Activator, got it. Let's go. So, activate is like HP, right? On my fifth key binding. It looks pretty cool so far, I would say. What's this? So if it's blue, does that mean it has like a tier 2 item? I guess it does, right? Food and boiled water. Okay. I'll take it. Uh, there we go. After image. Uh, they probably earned the money through MTX, which is like uh, Transmog. You can, you can buy like a... Uh, if you go here into the uh, the shop, oh, you can't see it. I can't see it before I'm done. But there's a battle pass, and then there's like also a shop where you can like purchase like let's say I, let's say I get like a uh, a weapon, right? And I want to have like another skin for it. 
you get like a like a bat skin or like maybe like a another you know thing it doesn't change anything for the gameplay but you get a skin spatial fluctuations often cause anomalies allowing past scenes um to be witnessed again activate space time to locate spatial theaters where events and people from the past may reappear okay activate space time dbt-011 my name is victor hammett what's your name yeah so there's no pay to win yeah don't know all i know is that i'm a monster my mother my father and everyone else they're gone and it was all my fault hey okay. hey try and stay calm i'm here and i will do everything to help it's no use no one can help me it would be better for everyone if i just just leave me alone please don't waste your time on me i'm afraid i can't do that okay and you're not a monster in fact you're very very special you just need to learn how to control your power once you do that you can help fix this broken world we can do that together Okay, I'm gonna drink some water, guys. I want to see how much this heals me. Oh, you are fully hydrated. Okay, oh, so I see. So the more... There's like three little lines of hydration and whatever the heck down there. So if you fill it fully up, you get like some bonus stats, I guess. Yeah, okay. Cool. My butterfly. It's flying. Yes. Your first deviation. And look how gentle it is. I remember my name now. It's Mitsuko. Mitsuko. It means child of light. It's my first creation. I will create more. Okay. Uh, hold, let me get this. I can relate to her. Okay. We need something powerful to challenge the evolutionists. And I think I finally found it. You. Hey. We can secure other deviations. We can use them to forge a new path and bring about true evolution. This okay. will be the Mayfly's mission. This is why we'll fight. Mayflies? That's right. Mayflies. Small, yet invincible. Humanity may seem puny now, but we'll prove we can endure. Yeah, he seems saucy. That dude seems kind of saucy. Uh, okay, can I jump through the window? I can't. There's a door here. Let's go through the door, I guess. Okay, we learned from Mordial cracking open her legs a few times, apparently, that there's fall damage in this game. Uh, so that's fine. Can I go through? Okay, I guess this is just loot down here. No, Mordial was playing the game and she keeps falling down and, and dying to fall damage, she said. Wait, what did I say? Did, did it sound bad, what I said? I, I didn't mean to. I'm sorry if it sounded bad. Okay. Big damn. Dude, what? Is, that is a luggage! Oh my, look at what that mouth do! Oh my lord! Handling briefcase. Oh, wait, so you can pick them up and use them as like a. Hold on, hold on, wait, this is actually kinda sick. Oh shit! It's like a limited time. Oh! Wait, this game is kind of cool, actually. What the heck? The deviation. We found it. Reach out your left hand. Chance. You can feel the rhythm of it. Then try and secure it. Twenty percent chance to secure. Okay, it's like it's like Pal World. Oh, can you stop? Use stop. Put put yourself down. Thank you. Obtained a butterfly. Okay, so it's like memories, I guess. It's like what happened here. Is the sound okay, by the way, guys? It's not too loud. It's fine? Okay. The uh, sound is nice. Like, the, the music is nice. My cinematic as well. 
It's like an infinity symbol on her, uh, behind her. What? Okay, so now I'm here. Oh, this looks kind of, like, cozy, actually. You have left Victor Hammett's territory. Into the house and ahead up for occupants. Okay, was I, so I was going through the past. Okay, so apparently there is, like, building in this game, obviously, since it's a, it's a survival game. You can make turrets? Dude, that's sick. What the heck? Alright. Let's go through here. Mitsuku, hello. Talk to Mitsuku. Me, you made it back. You're still alive. That must yes, really hurt. What I found. A meta. Only just woken up. They were kind enough to activate the cradle and set me free. Thank you, meta human. Your help means a lot to me. You can call me Mitsuko. I used to be a metahuman as well. Okay. Rosetta did all kinds of experiments on me. That is, until V saved me. Mitsuko is a very special meta. She can sense even the tiniest fluctuations in the stardust. It's thanks to her that I was able to take refuge in this place after Starfall. You're safe here. Okay. Uh... So we're all used to be Rosetta's test subjects? That's what Rosetta does. At first, they just locked deviations away. But then they figured out that deviations could be harnessed to make humans stronger. Okay. That's when they commenced their experiments. In the name of human progress. As a result, they created metahumans, like me and you, to Rosetta. Okay. We are the future. It is our potential to harness stardust that they value above everything else. It's all they care about. And they're not wrong. Metahumans are mankind's last hope. We were created by Rosetta, but we don't take orders from them anymore. Mm -hmm. We left. We call ourselves the Mayflies now, and we do things differently. Okay. Uh, so this paper butterfly is the deviation you were looking for. Yes. The butterfly is an emissary of sorts. I wanted it to help rescue other metas. The recent fluctuation must have startled it. The important thing right now is to secure it and ensure its safety. See that thing in the center of the room? It's a device for securing deviations. This makes them more useful and safer to be around. Okay, to the device. This thing? Interact with the securement unit and select the deviation to secure. Ah, so it's like a buff. Hold, let me just see something real fast, chat. Give me a moment. Uh, okay, so it's like a buff, essentially. Skill rating, activity rating, and deviant traits. Can participate in combat and mark enemy weak spots, increasing the damage they receive. Okay. The butterfly is recovered. I think it likes you. Ah, okay, so you can, like, use different ones and get different, uh, like, buffs and stuff. Like, well buffs, yeah, essentially, I guess. Cool. How does this game feel? Honestly, it feels pretty cool so far. Yeah, it does. It's pretty dank. Ask Mitsuku about the deviation. Deviations can be very dangerous if not taken care of. They can radiate stardust, which can lead to all kinds of unpredictable consequences. And this is why we created the Mayflies. We make cradles and securement units to keep deviations contained. We're yeah. finding ways for humans and deviations to live in harmony. This is our best chance of cleaning up Rosetta's mess. Are you talking to her? Because what do you mean? So what exactly are deviations anyway? No one's exactly sure what they are. Just that they're not bound by the physical laws of our world. They came from another dimension. Something we call rift space. When deviations get stressed, they release stardust. Mm -hmm. We think this brings our world and rift space closer together. Sometimes it becomes possible to pass between the two planes of existence. And when that happens, all hell breaks oh. loose. We believe that's what So you can like, okay. Form. So it's like, there's like two areas of... Have you guys ever seen, uh, what's that series called? With the upside down. Is it, is it like that? I don't know what it's called. Uh, where they can like go into like Stranger Things. It's like the Stranger Things. Like it's, it's like two worlds, but the same. So it's like two versions of the same world, right? Yeah. Some deviations are friendly, like the butterfly, but others like the ones inside monoliths, are extremely dangerous. It's not practical to secure all of them, but if we can learn more about them, maybe we can find ways to live alongside them. 
That's the goal. You must be prepared. It's called dimensions. The stardust. Just they don't exist in real life. And we aren't sure why. Oh. Okay. Be careful. That must be a siren. A siren? Shit. It must have gotten through. Come on, Meta. A deviation from another world just entered this space, and it won't go down without a fight. Take the butterfly with you. It can help. Okay. Take the butterfly with me? The oh, wait. Okay, so you store the butterfly there. Ah! The air will still recover deep in power when dormant. Expended when awake. Okay, so I bring it with me. Got it. Sink to cradle. Common deviation is a type of special deviation that, while aggressive, will take instructions from meta humans once secured. Different common deviations have different abilities. Oh, shit. Okay. So now I'm synced. But it's dormant. How do I undormant it? Attach wire. Use facility. Withdraw. Do I want to withdraw it? I guess I'll withdraw it and bring it with me, yeah. Am I just stealing her? Okay, you know, yoink. Hey man, the shit, dude. Okay, at the end of the day, man, I'll take it. Weapon crate? Do I get a gun? Okay, I get a jacket. And I get a gun. So... Armor sets have equipped. Click to switch them out. Okay, thank God it actually shows. I was gonna say, like, the MTX is whatever, but I'm really glad that there's actual visual progression as well. Like, you, you, the gear you equip, you actually get. Because I was a little bit worried that you were gonna, like, not see the gear, like, change whenever you got it. But that's good. Okay, so there's some rifts that we gotta go figure out, right? Uh, actually pay attention to hydration. Lack of water reduces movement speed. Drink boiled water to restore hydration. Collect dirty water. It's a cool introduction. It's, I'm learning the game. Okay, so now I've got some dirty woa, and I can, like, boil that. Equip a gathering tool before you start collecting resources. It's much faster than doing it barehanded. You can craft gathering tools at your campsite or at supplies workbench. Okay. A workbench. Uh, is there a workbench inside of here? Is that a workbench? That looks like a workbench. Territory terminal. Oh. That, that is an interesting way of doing that. Use the pickaxe to gather gravel. How... Hold, wait. Am I dumb? Wait, hold on. Banyan. Oh, I had it already! Oh, they gave me one already! Okay, I need 80 of these, and I need a pickaxe to gather gravel. Am I using a pickaxe for- This seems like a horrible idea. Yeah. That that seems not a good like a good idea at all. Okay. Okay, T to set up a campsite. Uh should should I put it like here? Maybe I should put it like somewhere over here, maybe. Is there a map? World maps unlock when the Eve evolution is completed. Okay. Ah it's always you gotta you gotta pick the good spot, right? Hmm. This seems pretty good. I actually like this place. Um, there, with like a nice view of the swamp, right? Good thing we're not in Florida. With craft with bare hands and campsite to craft basic gear tools and dishes. Okay. That was instant. So this is the workbench. Ah. 
Items including you could crafting. Okay, I'm gonna go down in this corner. I guess this is, this corner seems fine. Boiled water. Toggle between the maps to swap weapon crafting. A crossbow. Ah, oh, two fifty two seventeen damage. Fire rate one hundred twenty five. Magazine one. I'll make a crossbow. Uh, equip as secondary weapon. Okay, nice that you can insta equip them. That's good. So we got a crossbow. And I can make some pants. I need some rawhide for that, I guess. We gotta kill some animals. Uh, for this, we need arrows, five. We need logs, and we need some stones. So let's just make four of these. And craft it. Let's make all the boiled water we can. Okay, so I think they can just... Yeah, okay. So they're just crafting while I'm while I can do stuff, right? That's nice. Oh shit! Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot. Sorry, so I mean uh, flip. I'm getting I'm getting coconuts as well, guys, from this. As you guys can see. Okay. Gather a little bit of stuff. I have 132 now. Do they just disappear? I guess they do. Okay, got it. Need some more gravel as well, because we want to make a lot of arrows, right? Prepare boiled water at the campsite. Craft arrows with your bare hands at the campsite. Okay, that's our quests right now. Builds a campsite with a nice view and then immediately b destroys the nice view. Yep. Okay, so we take all these things. Easy. Defeat the attacking deviants. Let's make some more arrows while we wait, I guess. While, while we leave, we'll just like put up some arrows and some boiled water to craft, right? If you eat too much coconut, you get very fat, true? By the way, guys, this game is free to play, by the way, on Steam. If you're interested in checking it out, we are sponsored by One Human today to check this game out. So far, it's been really awesome. I like the ambience, I like the graphics. Gameplay seems good, the introduction is nice. I mean, I'm, this is a good game, man. And you can also use the code for free stuff, true. So, fight. How does this work? It's worth Pookie, for sure. Okay. I heard there's actually bosses in this game, too. Uh Siren Head. Yeah. What is that? Okay, I guess we found the bosses. It's actually a siren head. So what what are these things, man? Siren level 5. Oh, there's a boss meter. Oh, okay, let's go. Wait, I'm kind of hyped. Uh, wait, how do I change weapons, by the way? Oh, I change weapons with scroll wheel. Oh my god, these take so much damage. Dude, this crossbow is insane. Summon the butterfly. It will fight alongside you. How do I summon the butterfly? Um, e to open the wheel. Oh, it's my bottom. Wait, I, I can't butterfly. I don't know how to butterfly. I'm trying to press E, but it's not working. I, th I think I didn't do it right, chat. Hold on. Oh, the turrets are helping. What's this? Okay, you can really tell this is like an introduction boss. Wait, hold on. Okay. It's supposed to be in the backpack. Ah. Uh, okay, I don't know. It's it's not working right now. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Let's be honest, I probably am. Okay. It's supposed to be in the box. 
Yeah, I, I tried pressing right mouse button, but it didn't work. Yeah, I tried both. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Alpha Silben. Okay, this, this is definitely an intro boss, you can tell. Okay. Hey, dude, easy clap chat. Easy. Okay. Uh, is there any loot? Uh, okay, I guess not. I guess not. Festering gel. Ah! Oh. F. Let me put this guy back inside. So he's supposed to be in there. What if I E now? Doesn't work either. Okay, I'm not sure how that works. The deviation escape. It escaped. That was a difficult fight. Just driving it away was enough. And it's all thanks Oh, I have to sink it. Okay. For saving us. You're tougher than you look. That's twice now you saved me. You're welcome. Where did it go with the psychic psych psychic world? How did it get here? Oh no. Yes. Mitsuko created this rift space. A refuge from the dangers of the physical world. Or so we thought. Do you think that deviation will come back? What if it returns with greater disruptions? It's mm -hmm. possible. We can't just sit here and wait though. Meta, will you go back to the physical world with me? Um... Are you coming to Mitsuko? Mitsuko is too important. Oh. The Great Ones would descend on her the second she set foot in the physical world. We encountered some trouble earlier. And that's why Mitsuko is hiding here. Alright, well, let's go then. Take the butterfly with you. Put it in your cradle. That way, I can lend you some of my strength. Hopefully we'll meet again one day. When the Stardust is stable enough. It looks like this is goodbye. Good luck, Meta. Okay. Before you go. If you have any questions, I can try and answer them for you. Alright, so we want to sync this, right? Sync to cradle. Ah, and then I can use it. Okay, so you gotta like go put it here, use the facility, and then sync it. And then you can, then you can use it. Oh, that's a flashbang. Yeah, so it, it is like two dimensions, I guess, overlapping or some shit. Okay. What the heck is that? Okay, so this is where we're gonna actually start playing the game. Now we've done the introduction, right? Oh my god, what are we dropping? Dude, this is Fortnite! Oh shit! Oh, we're, we're actually back. playing Fortnite! 20 years after Starfall, and the world is still infested with Stardust. It looks like the monoliths here have been reactivated too. Do you want to go here? They might hold the key to all the Stardust. Wait, where are we dropping? Oh no! Oh, so space parts to collide. Okay. So now it's Ark Survival, The Division, The Dark Souls, and now Fortnite. Dude, this game is interesting. Okay, so now we've done the tutorial. Now we're done. Now we need to figure out how to play this game. And we are on a PvP server, so that's gonna be interesting. Let's set up a territory. Yo, is this someone's territory? You have entered XTXTF's territory. Territory terminal forms based on the territory. Wait, can I? Why are you on a PvP server? I don't know. I like CPT. Um, find a suitable location. Okay, so where do I want to go? Let's go through here. Oh, there's a house up here. Uh, Rat Lords. Do I want to attack him? Oh. Oh, I'm friendly! Can I wave? Okay, just wanted to test. I just wanted to test. I just wanted to test. 
Yeah. Yeah, I, I was just testing. That's all. Oh, so you have to flag for PvP. Okay, okay, so you can be on a PvP server and not flag. Oh, did someone build that down there? Mm, where do we want to build a house? There we go, jump down, don't jump down. I mean, you have a glider, you can just uh, glide. There we go. Do I want to take some of this here? Get some gobber, let's go. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna farm some materials, guys, and then we're gonna go build a base, okay? Have a nice evening, guys. If you gotta go, Arana, have a great evening. Thanks for being here. I mean might as well like get all the gobber, right? As we can. Why not? Okay. What's this? Tay Tay's post. I don't know, lol. I just had to leave a note here for my quest, lol. <laughs> There's motorcycles? Okay. Got it. I'm just getting a bunch of materials. I don't really know how much we need, but we'll get a bunch. Motorcycles, cars, and trucks. Cool. Okay, can I can I drive this? Sage. Oh, that's oh. Got it. You're farming copper, the other guys are riding bikes. Okay, bro. Okay, copper doesn't seem that rare. Oh my god, the map is big. Holy, okay, okay, okay. Let's build our base down here somewhere. This seems like a decent spot, right? We already got some dirty woah. Oh. Decent spot, by the way, and there's literally zombies running around. My... <laughs> god damn it, dude. That's not a decent spot at all, is it? This is a horrible spot. Oh, wait, wait. Some raw hide. Let's go. And oh, you can get your arrows back as well. Nice. There's also a dude over there. Did you play DayZ? Not a lot, but I, I, I used to watch DayZ streams a little bit. Deer meat, okay. Gameplay is pretty smooth though, chat. I won't lie. Hold on, let me try to do this. Okay, the melee attack is way stronger than the ranged attack though. Yeah, it's like so much better. Okay. Stapler, connector firmware, jacket, and mether. Okay, let's give it, just take it all, I guess. I, I, guys, I'm poor. I'm gonna just take everything. Potatoes! Oh my god. There's potatoes? <gasps> oh, sorry, you, you scared me. God damn it, man. What's the point of enemies if you just shoot them with your fist weapon? Uh, well, there's probably gonna be a lot harder enemies, right? Since we're, like, we're, I think that how the server progresses is that there's, there's days. And I would assume the deeper into the days you are, the more difficult the overall game becomes, right? And there's gonna be bosses as well. Uh, okay, I'll build my base here, I think. Maybe? Oh, maybe up on this hill here. Can I climb? Okay, I can't climb like that. Let's try to build a base up there, maybe, maybe if we can. How f oh my god, someone built up here as well. Hold, can I go up here? Jordy's territory. Bro, they all had the same idea as me, man. Damn it. 
Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a... The game is a little bit all over the place. There's so many... There you go, you got it, you got it. Okay, he has it. Oh my god, where do I want to build? Maybe we just run a little bit away from like the starting zone so we can like get to like a little more, more, more of an empty place. Because I feel like everybody always builds... Oh, I guess there is no starting zone because you drop in like Fortnite, right? Okay, this place seems kind of comfy. It's next to a road. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you know what? We build here. We build here, chat. I think. Oh, there's another house right there, though. It's a road down there. It's so crowded. Dude, there's too many people playing this game. Rated? I think I want to have to turn on PvP for that. I, I don't even really know how to do that. Yoink. Okay. You can always move to. I moved at least 15 times already. Alright, alright. You know what? Let's build here. Right here. Yeah, this is a good place. We got water stream down there for Woa. We got a bunch of trees. This is nice. I'm building here. This is my home. Nice work. I've managed to unlock some memetics from Mitsuko. If you access them through your cradle, you'll be able to craft and build what we need. Okay. Enter your territory. Energy and hydration loss is minus 80%. Uh... Okay, I'll just put this guy there. Uh, wood foundation. Okay, so how do I do this? Move territory, show hide, wire, and plumbing. Exit, exit, exit build mode. Press tab to open the function wheel, and then cradle to enter the mess mix screen. Cipher is available. Doesn't feel too survivalish when dozens of people have houses around. Yeah, the mobs die, do die really fast. Various kinds of building and items formulas can be learned from the Mesmic nodes. So this is like kind of like talents? Oh no, this is like to make stuff, like actually making things. Smelting essentials. Use this furnace to smelt and burn basic materials. I was I would assume it gets a lot more difficult later on. Like the difficulties is easy early on. Copper pickaxes. Let's make those. Bronze crafting. Crafting essential tools. Ammunition. That's to make guns, right? We like guns. I think I spent all of them so far. Open the message screen and unlock the disassembly bench. Ah! Wait. Disassembly bench under the gathering type. Wait. Take the number of ciphers required to unlock the memes. Leveling up. Okay, that's how you get them. Wait! Ah! Wait! Did you really do that, bro? You're running up to me. Bro, what are you, bro, what are you doing here, man? This is my base. This guy, man. Unbelievable. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, open the mimic screen. Jesus Christ, man. Uh, unlock the disassembly bench. Wait, how do I do that again? I 
I'm your neighbor now. Ah. Wait, I'm a little bit confused. Can I dislearn some stuff? Reset me magic. Okay, so I am able to reset stuff. Like this. Cost 30% of the current. But I do get this thing back. Okay. So it wanted me to go to crafting? Wait. Mimetic screen and unlocked the, under the gathering type. Disassembly bench. Wait, was it right there? This game is free, yes, Mimic. Oh my gosh, I am so blind. Even with Mimetics, you still won't be able to craft anything out of thin air. We better gather some ore and locks. Oh my gosh. All right, well, I already gathered some stuff, so that's good. Uh, I need some gravel as well, though. We didn't gather any gravel. Oh, a deer! What? Headshot. Yeah, you see. We get meat from this guy, so it's worth deer meat. And we get some rawhide as well. Okay, I need some gravel. Let's go. Gathering some good old gravel, mate. We'll also need a furnace and a disassembly wrench to process the materials we gather. Okay. Holy sh! This guy's a motorcycle. Okay, so B for building, and then we want to build a furnace. But how do we? Relocate? Wait. Ah, right click. Okay, okay, so you right click and then you can build stuff like this. Use the furnace to refine raw materials into something more practical. We'll okay, 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 I'm steps. understanding it. Okay, so we do this, and then we can do charcoal. We can make a buttload of charcoal, I guess, because we got a lot of wood. I'll make, like, 17. Because we need charcoal for this, right? For coppers and bronze. And glass. Glass is sand. I guess gravel is sand, kind of. Okay, so we're making that. Um, we can keep mining a little bit while we're doing that. Sulfur. Okay. Game is actually pretty cool so far. Let's gather some more stuff while we uh, we wait here. Is that Vates over there? Oh, it is. It's my neighbor, brother. Just getting all these things here. Might as well. Wait. <laughs> it's mommy, my good old friend, mommy. I need to get some more wood, too. Let me get some wood chat. There you go. There you go. Got a bunch. Let's go back. Can you ask Vade to do this in-game? I don't know if he wants to. Steal his bike? Yoink! Alright, let's go back here. And let's craft... Get the charcoal that we got it. And we can craft all of these here. Slide it up like that, and we do the charcoal, or like the covering guts. Okay, so we have a minute and 20 seconds to craft all that stuff. Not bad. I'll, I'll just keep, like, farming a little bit of stuff. When do you start getting Pokemons to build at your base? This is not Pell World, man. Okay. There we go. Yoink. But this game is free, guys. Again, I keep mentioning it, but it is free. Exclamation mark, one human in the chat. Four, that. Okay, so we level to level three now. And we got some more stuff. Nice. You're a bit hungry. Damage lowered. Okay, so I guess I'll eat some food. Yoink. 
Cube guy is goaded. There's a cube guy. Okay. Uh, 20 more seconds. I mean, that's a really long time, though. 20 seconds, to be fair. But we can get some sulfur while we wait. Okay, so O to use my ciphers. I want to wait a little bit and we'll see. Can you make a campfire in a bit? This is not Minecraft. Okay, copper ingots, nice. B2, enter build mode and do the build the disassembly bench. Okay, let's just put this here, I guess. Nice. This is a strong foundation for us to build upon. I've set up a journey interface to help track our progress. For each task ah. you complete, you'll unlock some supplies we can use. Okay, so like all the scraps you can disassemble for like uh, materials. That's nice. Okay. Do T for a little camp. Oh, little camp, by the way. I'll build my camp next to Vades. Oh, so that's your respawn point. Got it. Okay, got it, got it, got it. J to learn the journey and learn about the journey task and collect your reward. So far, what we've got won't do much against those deviants out there. We need proper weapons and armor. There are some abandoned Rosetta facilities nearby. Maybe we could find some useful supply crates there. I've marked their locations on your map. Okay, so th this is like a battle pass, essentially. Like, you, you do all these things and like you, you do all the like, little missions or whatever, and you get like XP and stuff like that. Cool. Okay, not bad, not bad. You can make food and water there. Yeah, yeah. Go to the monolith rune to search for supplies. Oh, I guess that's pretty close. Shift plus shift. Oh, you can share the, the thing. Okay. Uh, oh, people keep... Dude, there's a bunch of posts in my goddamn bench. Wait, I can also do this. And if I want to do structure... Ceiling, foundation, and I can do it like this. Ah, okay, I just want to see how the building works. Got it. Nicest Fortnite update. The game is actually pretty pretty, uh, pretty chill. Uh, demolish. Someone is getting... I, I'm saying that as somebody's literally getting shot somewhere. Oh, it just vades. Oh. Well, never mind then. Oh, I could just duplicate you, alright. Alright, let's go this way. Hopefully you're doing well, though, Selm. Good to see you, brother. It's good. Okay, let's go this way. We gotta we gotta go do some stuff, guys. Is any don't mind him? Dude, guns are cool, man. I'm gonna shoot some guns, dude. Easy clap. I will see what's over here, guys. Hello, it is me, Guzu. Wait, Guzu, what's up, Vates? How did you get that motorcycle, by the way? Adventurer. Oh, this is like an NPC, I guess. Guzu. Hello. I quit both Sod and Katu as I couldn't handle the endless grind. Okay. I'm now trying out Ascension Wow, which is also a grind, but <laughs> surprisingly fun to play. Have you ever considered trying it out? <laughs> I have thought about it, but I can't really stream it, so uh, I don't really think I'm going to be playing it uh, one and only, bro. But I hopefully, hopefully you enjoy your time in Ascension, man. Thank you so much for the sub. 18 months, man. Uh, talk. Are you planning on settling down here? Just passing through this camp is safe place to rest and recover. I'll be gone in a few days. Why don't stay permanently? I wouldn't be much of a venture if I did that. Where are you headed? Can you tell me? Well, my old man passed away recently before he died. He asked me to scatter his ashes by the lighthouse he used to guard. Oh. Trouble is, I don't know where exactly the lighthouse is. All I know is it's south from here. My old man once told me that lighthouse is a beacon in the sea driving out the darkness. Is that like a quest? Ah, so that's like quests. Got it. What's up, Vates? Yeah, I wish there was uh, voice lines as well. What's up? 
Dude, you could, <laughs> you could like move people around. Press F1 to check requests. Ah, so we can be friends. We'll be friends. Oh, so now we're friends. Rawhide. You know, for your rawhide, I'll trade you for... You know what, I'm not gonna trade. What is this? Hawthorn seed. Do I, where's my... Hold on. I'll trade you some coconuts for those. Yeah, coconuts for seeds. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the trade. Thank you, thank you. Well, how do you do that? Wait, I don't know how to... <laughs> Alright, cool. Let's go this way. I was out eating. Did you get the rune? I did. I got two runes, Strodium. Alright, so there's quests, apparently, guys. So now we have a quest down to go to, like, a, uh, a tower, I suppose. A lighthouse to spread some ashes. And we have also have a quest to go here. Who was playing with anyone rather than me? Dude... You're being a little bit silly. Mini mouse. Okay. Dude, how do you get those guns, man? I want some of those. You're just running around with a handgun shooting deers. Oh my god. Holy shit, okay. Dude, I should have really gotten myself a motorcycle or something. That would have made it a lot faster. What is that? You guys saw that? Got it, got it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There's like a big boy in here. Oh, he wasn't that big, I guess. It looked like there was a big juicer in here. Copper. Oh, wait, was that a gun? No, it wasn't, right? It looked like a gun for a second. Damn it. It does look like a gun though, right? Scrap core's body. Ah, so it's just materials. They made it look like a gun. I got excited for a second there. Oh. Vanity box, toilet plunger. I got a toilet plunger? Is that a weapon? Okay, it's not. I can show you where I got mine. Is it close? Yeah, you can probably scrap those all in the, the, the dismantler, right? Okay, I'm gonna keep going over here for now, uh, Bates. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna go this way. I'm, I need to do the quest over here. Only loot to dismantle. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Just like, dude, people are building bases literally everywhere. We are colon colon colonizing this place, man. Okay, let's go. Wait, are you good, man? I don't think you can use that. Col colonizing. Hello, mate. Loot for reset supply crates. Okay, so we just want to like loot stuff here. Okay. Is it possible to play on this on a solo map or with friends? I don't know actually if you can just play on a solo map. I mean, I I would assume you probably can. Yeah, you can maybe maybe you can like host your own map or something like that, and you can play like that. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah. It's a really cool game though actually. I'm 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 liking it. Collect dirty wall ah. In here. Yoink. Okay, run to the entrance of the monolith ruin. Okay, I'm just kinda questing right now, trying to figure out how to do stuff. 
Game looks pretty pockets for a free-to-play game. Honestly, it, it, dude, it, it does. I agree. <clears throat> Definitely, it's pretty cool. Dude, that, that gun is so dank. Oh, that sucks, uh, Officius. Mary. Hi, Mary. Talk to the strange woman in front of you. Hands off my stuff. Uh, I don't see your name on it. Bitch. <laughs> You're pretty cocky oh. for someone who doesn't even have a weapon. Quite impressive. I have a machete and a goddamn crossbow. Is that a cradle on your back? Are you a mayfly? How interesting. I thought I was the only mayfly left. Mm -hmm. Uh, since we're both mayflies, what's your name? I'm Mary. It's a good thing I met you. I'm thinking as fellow mayflies. We should be able to help each other out. I came here to investigate a deviation that's been causing issues. I think it's connected to a recently reopened monolith nearby. Okay. Sounds like we might be after the same thing. Don't tell me you're going to try and take on a powerful deviation barehanded. Even an ordinary deviant could tear you apart right Bro, now. Bro, has you're she been... pretty inexperienced, aren't you? I'm going to give you a blueprint. Use it to make yourself a gun. Oh, nice. Trust me. You'll need one if you want to stand even half a chance of surviving out there. While you're doing that, I have other matters to attend to. Once you're done, come find me in Deadsville. It's the nearest survivor settlement. We can plan our next steps from there. After all, two heads are better than one. And I'd never turn down help. Okay. You didn't think you can make your own server? Ah... Uh... That's a shame. So another Mayfly It would be nice survived, if you could. But I can't remember her. Wait. <laughs> My memory's been... <laughs> you Mitsuko revived me. You made like a guild called the Gosslers? Mitsuko with that woman. I love it. We can use it to make a real gun. I'll be in the Gosslers, man. ...and start by building a gear workbench. Okay, we gotta get a gear workbench. The Gosslers, man. Love it. I love it. Hold on. Let me check something real fast, guys. Uh, Skibby. Uh, okay, we're good. Uh, Alright, so I gotta make my workbench. But shouldn't I do that back in my base? You can teleport back to your territory from anywhere on the main map. Oh. Wait, teleport. Yo. Wait, how did I even open up the thing? Like the guild stuff? I don't even know. I forgot what keybinding it actually was. I don't remember actually. Uh, the assembly scrap. Okay, let's, let's scrap it. Let's grab it. The assembly scrap. You can also assemble unwanted weapons, armor, and stuff. Yeah, it's just like you can use it for everything, I guess. So select all, and we just disassemble. Easy. Ah, there's also like other. Okay. But we don't want to do those, though, for real. Yeah, we'll just only do scrap for now. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, open the Mimic mimic screen and unlock the gear workbench. Gear workbench. Okay, you can see which ones are quests, I guess, by like the little thing like this, I suppose. Does this game have an in-game in voice chat? I don't know, actually. Um, I would assume it does. I need more copper ingots for this. How would I activate that? Sound? Live stream mode. All copyrighted music in the game will be blocked. Oh, badass. I didn't know they had that. I am not sure how to activate it, though. The, it only works in group. Uh, I'm not sure. I actually don't know. Dialogue volume, vehicle volume, video. Role, camp, interactions. How did you speak? Oh, yeah, I can hear you. Wait, how do you speak? <laughs> Hello? 
F5, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Wait, can you hear me? Oh, so there is voice chat. Okay, so so if you hold F5, you can voice chat. Yep. That is a horrible key binding. I, I, I don't know, but the key bindings are all... Uh, okay, so, so there is voice chat. Okay. Voice chat. Let me make it uh, like this button. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Can you hear me? Beep, 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 boop, bah, beep, beep. Okay. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> all right. Uh, build the way. Okay, I need some stuff. I mean, you can just change the key binding, it doesn't matter. Alright, cool, so there's voice chat. So, F5, you can talk to people. Interesting. Nice, alright. Dude, this game is kinda dank, dude, I won't lie. Is it proximity? Can you hear me over here? Oh my god, I can hear him all the way over there. I can hear you too. <laughs> Wait, how far can you, can you, okay, can we do a test? Yeah. Can, can you like come to me and then like just run and talk while you run that way? Okay, okay, it was to like to the side. <laughs> Dude, it's far. It's really far. Oh my god. It go it went to like the sign. What the hell? Okay. Uh let's make a uh, supplies workbench. Uh do that there. You make a shop? Wait, can I use your stuff? Battle shout. Oh, battle shout. Oh, I can't use your stuff. I guess we have... Okay. It's a survival game. It's essentially a survival game. It's a mixture of a bunch of different games from what I can... F what it feels like. Uh, throwing dagger, pickaxe... Why the fuck is there a post right in my... weapon? I have no idea. Go to build mode and build the gear workbench. Get this thing. I need copper ingots for that. Of course! Of course I need more copper, man. It's always the copper, dude. Bunk. There we go. I feel like I have a lot of copper, though. Oh, is it because I need to make ingots? Yeah, I need ingots, that's why. Okay, okay. What server? Uh, what server were we on? I think it was... I don't even know how to see that. World 3... Uh... Oh, there's like... Oh, there's like level zones. So the higher level zones are like World over there. Three. Huh? 19 PvP. 19 PvP? Okay. PvP world 19. 19 PvP. World PvP. Server world PvP 19. Server world uh, PvP world 19. I guess we'll do it like that for now. Uh, furnace. Okay, so we gotta craft some charcoal first. Let's just make all the charcoal and then we can do a little bit of this. Yeah. Bunk, 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 bunk. Just stocking up on logs while we're crafting it, right? Might as well. A little bit more. I have 15 hours in this game. I still don't really know what it's about, and I'm still in tutorial mode. I mean, if there's that much content, though, I mean, that's nice, right? If there's if you play for that long and you're still trying to figure stuff out. Because it, it's literally a free game, right? And if there's that much content to do... Okay, uh, we got this, get that, and then we're gonna make a lot of these here. Just make a bunch, I guess, everything. Okay, the cipher. Oh, 
If we want to go to our Mimix. Ammunition. We already got that. This we gotta get here. Long range firepower. Basic gear. So we, uh, can they make a submachine gun? Consumables, ammo. Copper pistol ammo. I will need copper ingots and gunpowder. Ah. Okay. Shit, Goose, I need rawhide. Need rawhide? You gotta shoot some deer, man. I'm sorry, man. You gotta do it, dude. It is what it is. Oh, okay. He is not hesitating. Okay. Yeehaw! I thought he was gonna hesitate. Alright, well, it is what it is. All right, you know, gotta do what you gotta do, guys, okay? It's a rough world. Can I k get some stuff while it's crafting? Oh, okay, nice, I can, that's good. All right, so we wanna do a gear workbench. I still need seven more ingots, okay. Got it. Bonk, bonk, bonk. After this, we can go back. Get all the wood here. Nice. Got it. Bonk, bonk. Let me go here. Pick up my ingots. We need like five more and then we're good to go. I guess it looks like the ores and everything always spawns at the same areas. So like, there's always two stacks of sulfur here, there's always the, the copper there, so it's like the same spawns, right? So I guess if you find a spawn with a lot of really nice stuff, um, you can like build your base there, right? And you will always have like some good stuff around you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, camp the spawn, yeah, exactly. Okay, nice. So now we can make the gear workbench. And this is for guns, right? To make both guns and ammo. If you want to make ammo, weapons, you need to do so you can hire tier. Okay. Insufficient materials. Oh my god. Holy shit. Okay, so what do I need to make this? Recoil action one. Oh, and I can just craft it there. Can I make it tier two? No, we can't. We can't. Okay, so we craft, 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 and that's from all the scrap. Hey, we got our gun. Cool. Armor crafting. I guess I can make some pants, because I don't have any pants, right? Oh, I need more rawhide. Scheiße! I can make these. Equip now. Oh my god, this looks so bad! I look, I look like I'm wearing a diaper. Jesus. Uh, okay. Weapons. Gun. Equip. Okay, but now I need ammo, right? Pistol ammo. I can make one. I guess I can get 40 shots, though. So that's nice. Uh, furnace. Let's make some more charcoal. And we can make some more copper afterwards. Collect. Good. I'm sure you'll need that weapon soon enough. Wait, I just noticed a teleportation tower was activated at Deadsville. Did Mary do that? We can use it to teleport straight there. Open your map and try it out. Okay. Activating teleportation towers will let us get. Yes, that Gyat, he does. And avoid any dangers along the way. 
Okay, open the world map to t teleport to Deadsville. Okay, so we can teleport directly there. Let's make a little bit more ammo before we dip, right? I think that's gonna be good. Just like so we have like a little bit more ammo. Like three, four more. Then we have like 140 shots, right? 160 shots, so that's good. Yoink. Mm -mm. There it is. Okay, nice. Uh, so we go to M. And we find Deadsville. That's Vades. Wait, what was it? It's that way. It's not even that far. Okay. I mean, it's nice to, to do, I guess. Look at that gyat. So this is like a little hose, a uh, home, I guess. Speak to Mary. It's also a mail. Global server launch. Ah, oh, it's like, okay. Server activities and stuff. Wait, 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 what did I say? No, little, a little home, little homes, chat. Little homes, home. Talk to Mary. Good, you made it. I'm guessing that gun served you well. Uh, you're the one who activated this tower? Thanks for bringing me here. Yeah, this was the quickest way to bring you here. These towers are even supposed to let you travel between worlds. But I haven't been able to figure out how. Maybe you'll have more luck. Either mm -hmm. way, I'm glad it got you here. Deadsville is the perfect place to dig up info on the area. That okay. merchant over by the old truck looks like she gets around. Maybe she knows Why? What? Mary, what did you just say about her? Uh, okay. Okay, so open your tasks. Welcome back. Tracking this. This is level 6 quest, but I guess we can still do it. What the hell? Interact with the teleportation tower in a neutral stronghold or the wilderness to activate it. You can teleport to any two activated towers. Ah, so it's like a wayport. Okay. Ah, so you can swap worlds. Okay, cool. Mm. Are we going to listen to the friend in his camp you, you wouldn't miss? Wait, what do you mean? There's a friend in this camp? Or what do you mean, Naraxon? Sure, I mean, if there's something you want me to go see, why not? We're doing a little sponsor segment for the stream, right? So if there's something you want me to go take a look at, then just tell me. What is this? Humpy. What the fuck? In the house. Okay, I should go talk to someone in the house. Okay. James Garland, is that the dude? Check the red house for a friend. The red house for a friend. This is the red house, right? It spawns here. Ah, so there's something you can get in here, I guess. Okay, that's a choice not to spawn. Okay, so you can, you can get something from the house. Okay. I don't I don't really see anything of, of value or like anything that's interesting. Didn't spawn. Ah, oh, maybe next time. Where are you? Uh, I'm in Deadsville right now. You can teleport here. Okay, let's see. Uh, wanna buy something? Oh, she's a merchant. Okay. Go take a look. Anything that catches your eye, I'm always open for business. Uh, I'm just looking. Wait, I've never seen you before, but. You're a mayfly, ain't you? Oh, thank goodness. I could really use some help. My name's Claire. Claire Lay. Normally, I'm a wandering merchant, but now I'm stuck here. Mm -hmm. I sent a team over to a place called the Rotten Manor three days ago to collect some goods for me. 
You can co-op, Hissy. You can co-op. It's possible that they ran off with the goods. Don't be so cynical. I've been through thick and thin with them. They wouldn't do that to me. I'm afraid that something must have happened to them. Rumor Phase 4 is not even right playing. We just had a sponsor so today. We played a bunch person. earlier and we're going to be playing again, again tomorrow. A deviation behind it. What kind of deviation? All I know is what I heard from that well-dressed gentleman over there. He should be able to tell you more. Phase 4 has been great no question. as well. That guy stands out. Well, you'd better talk to him and see what he knows. Good luck. Oh, and I'll happily pay a reward if you can recover my stuff for me. I'll mark Rotten Manor on your map. Make sure to stock up on ammo before you go, alright? Okay. Let's chat. Uh, okay, CB. Okay, uh, let's go over here. Ripple and space time detected nearby. So that's like dungeons or whatever you can go to. Interesting. Talk to the man. And know the place for the first time. Through the unknown, unremembered gate. Are rehearsing for something? Why is there a motorcycle? <laughs> what is happening? A mayfly. And one who seems to be brimming with potential. A pleasure to make uh, Do you know about a deviation affecting <laughs> this area? You've come to the right man. I am Samuel Lowe, a humble scholar specializing in the fascinating phenomena we call deviations. Is this game worth buying? Well, it's free, so you don't have to buy it. You can download it for free. Exclamation mark one human. And as for you, you seek keys with which to unlock the dark. Dude, <laughs> what the hell? But I'd be wary of what else you might open up. Do you always speak in riddles like this? I was merely setting the mood. The world still deserves something. Dude, stop. <laughs> Don't you think? <laughs> now, you're interested in the deviation inside that monolith, aren't you? But the tower is locked up tight, and its keys are rift anchors across the wetlands. <laughs> Those things are made by Rosetta, aren't they? Activating them should get us access to the rift space inside the monolith. Spot on. <laughs> and now tell me, where do you think those anchors would be? Usually places oh where they have stardust pollution. The rotten manor would <laughs> definitely be one of them. Indeed. I'm looking forward oh, yeah. to seeing what you can do, Mayfly. I'm sure it will be a remarkable story to share. By the <clears> way, I wouldn't <throat> mind adding another deviation to my collection. Dude, so they decided to hide players. In the cutscenes, but not vehicles or voice chat. So you can literally spam voice chat while someone is doing it, watching a cutscene. Bro, what are you doing, man? Alright, let's talk to Mary. That's so tough. Let's split up to cover more ground. I'll find a way to hack into the monolith. Once you've activated the rift anchors, come meet me at the monolith gate. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Just don't forget to bring plenty of ammo. That place must be packed with. I got a lot. Of, I got a lot. And one more thing, I have a motorcycle here. You can. Ooh. Use. That should help speed things along. Nice. Okay, we get a motorcycle now. Let's go. All right, let's ride out. Autobots, ride out. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be fun to ride. Press G to use vehicle. Oh, so we summon it. Okay, okay. How does this work? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so space to... Nice, 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 nice. Right, let's go, chat. Let's go. Dude, I like the, the way that he rides the bike. It looks nice. Oh! Bro, watch out, man. Cut me off, man. Dude. Jesus. Alright, so we're following the road this way, guys. Let's go. Freaking wicked. Go this way. Oh my god. Well, there we go, there we go. All the way up here. Mary is packed with with the uh, with guns and stuff? Yeah, I think so. She has a lot of gear. Concentration here is off the charts. 
We should set up a campsite before rushing into the rock map. Ah. Oh, bro. And stay on the rock, man. You gotta watch out, man. Wait, how do I dismount this? Oh, if. So you can build like a temporary spawn. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So it's like a temporary spawn point if you want to go do a quest. Oh, wind turbines! It's like I'm back in Denmark. But I am in Denmark. All right, that's your. What is your vehicle? Okay, I'm gonna get mine. You wanna roll out with me? All right. What is that? What the? This is like Howl's Moving Castle. You guys seen that movie? Wait, is that a... Can we kill that thing? It's like a world boss. Yeah. Oh, it takes damage. I think. What is that? Maybe shoot the hands? Shoot the hands. You rude nap interrupter, what are you up to? Oh, 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 Get the- oh, Bro! What do we do now? Wait, what are those? Oh my god. Oh, so you can get up on it. Ow, my legs. Yeah, I got it, I got it. Oh. Wait, what is this? Bro, okay, this hurts my brain. Oh my god. Wait, this is actually kind of sick. What is this? Oh, well, Guzo, it's a house, clearly. Oh, thank you. All right. Okay, so what's the point of going up on this dude? Just gotta hope. Yeah, easy. Wait. Bro, what what is the point? Wait. <laughs> Something stirs within a mural on the ground floor. Crush the mural. Oh, ground floor. Mural, mural, mural. There's a quest top left. There's a quest top left. The ground floor. Oh, is it this thing? What? Okay. Is this the ground floor? Mural is a painting. Oh! Oh, you got it, you got it. Uh, found it. Okay, so we gotta find the fragments, okay. That. What the f- Okay, maybe that? I don't really know what I'm looking for. Oh, use Q! Q, Q, Q! Q, Q, Q! Easy! Oh, we get treasure! Oh, what do we get? What do we get? Wait, this is actually kind of cool. It's like a little world uh, event or whatever. I didn't know there was this. What do we get? Disco ball. Material acid. Bro! Wait, that was actually kind of sick. You found a friend. Wait, how do we activate the friend? Produces special materials that can be used within crafting. 
Used to extend other whim duration. Oh, so it's a friend! So it's like that butterfly. Ah, okay. Cool, where, where were we going? I completely forgot, I, I think we were going up here, right? It's a friend you activate in the base. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. All right, wicked. Let's ride out, brother. Do you need the rested XP for that? No, you don't. You can use your brain paranyzer. You know, you guys all have big brains, right, chat? Stardust pollution is getting worse. What if I don't have one? Maybe a friend in chat can help you. Must have come from that festering gel deviation. The feet. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit! Is that a minigun? Oh! Holy sh! Oh my god. You're only getting hit in the head, there's nothing in there anyway, it's fine. Easy! Dude, the bosses are cool. They've been quite easy so far, but the bosses are pretty cool, though. For real, for real. Uh, the Rift Anger. Oh, pr press escape to leave a dungeon. Look for the mystical crate. Okay. Nice and easy. Well done. I've noticed some other strange shadows readings elsewhere. Quite similar to what we encountered here. I've marked their locations. Hopefully, we'll find the other Rift Anchors there. They drop loot. Ah. So we gotta go do the other ones as well. There's one close down here. What the fuck? I don't know where Bates went. So they drop loot essentially, yeah. Go down here. Explore the town and do the purple objectives before leaving. The purple objectives? Wait, purple objectives? Can I drive into this guy? Bonk! <laughs> Bonk! Okay. That's sick. Purple objectives. What are those? Look for mystical crates, find weapon and armor crates. Ah, so th those are like bonus missions at the areas. Okay, got it. Oh, okay, so it's super worth doing those. Got it. Gotta find the mystical crate too. Yoink. I think Vates went to the next place. I'm not sure what happened. I think we phased out. Is this a mystical crate? It's a weapon crate. Oh, I got an MP7. Oh. Press N. Oh, flashlight. That's a mystical crate, right? Oh, a new gun, man. It's, uh, oh, I think it was level two, right? I don't think I have any ammo for, ammo for that gun at all. It's a blue blend. Yeah, it's a blue blend. Oh yeah, I have the scan ability as well. True. It's a blue blue blue. I can't say that word. I'm sorry. I think 
Chat, I think... Do you guys have, like, some days where your IQ is just lower? I, I think today my I have, like, lower IQ than normal. Oh, hi. I think I got the fades because you had the quest that I didn't. Ah. So you only get it if you're on the quest. Yeah, for me, the, the thingy, the joint thingy here is, like, covered in... Who's there? Oh, hi! Oh hi, we're just oh, talking. Hey, here. Oh hi. Oh, it's Robotnik. Hi, 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 guys. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. How are you, are you doing? I'm doing great. We're just searching the town. You guys found anything of value? Uh, I'm an MP5 from the sniper. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's very, very nice. Yes. Yeah, very good. Okay, guys. Uh, good luck and have fun. Ah, uh, you too, you too. Have a good day. See you later. <laughs> Dude, I love voice chatting games. It's so cool. <laughs> Dude. What's this? This is a game called One's Human. It's a survival game, uh, Kitten, that we're sponsored to play today. It's free to play as well. It's... Oh my god. I need two more dudes. Uh, motorcycles. Need some enemies. For real. Okay. Huh? Ah. What? Where? Oh my god. It's hiding in the bushes, man. X Boys 360 voice chat on COD, bro. Pepsodina, are you getting like flashbacks to bad times or what? Or maybe good yeah. times. Ah. I need one more enemy. In there, maybe? Oh, they're shooting some other stuff. Easy. And they say MMO players have bad aim chat. Holy crap. Was a fanatical? Hopefully doing good, good. Ripple in space time nearby. Um Mimendix are divided into four categories. Oh we know about this. Ah, getting the V's random effects. Oh, so you can go, you can specialize into stuff. 50% chance when crafting regular ammunition. Smelter, Craftsman, Star, Chef. Basic defense, sandbag, shelters, and high fortifications. More durability when your territory exists combat. Oh, so you get, oh, so you get, this one you get more fabric. Oh, so it's like, it's like talents. It's like a talent system, essentially, you get. Cool. Oh my god. You have to find or craft to buy ammo. It's a survival game, yeah. Exactly. Where's my... Is that my car? Oh, hi! You're very thirsty. Let me slurp. Oh, shit. Seems kind of easy, though. Yeah, but I mean, we are really early in the game, right? Where the frick is my car? Or whatever. It's like, imagine it like WoW in their zones, right? And we are like in the starting zone right now. And there's gonna be like a lot of higher level zones too, right? So like if you look at this right here, we're like here and it's like level 6, right? Over here there's level 35, there's level 45, level 25. Like there's a higher level zones. Okay, let me try to drive over here. And you can also flag for PvP if you want to fight other players too, right? Try to go down here and see what this is. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm in the easy phase right now. I, I, I bet it gets a lot more difficult as you go on. Dude, the bike just crashes. I love it. So you go and you activate rifts. And I guess this is like kind of like a dungeon or a scenario that you do. I suppose, at least. Oh my god. Combat is like decent though. I think it's actually not bad. I'm a biker myself and if it hurts every time he lets it go. I know, bro. I know. Listen, man. We gotta do what we gotta do. Is that a scarecrow? There are some cool mobs in this game. Okay. Storage crate. Yoink. Uh, we gotta find an armor crate as well. Up there, I'll see it up there. It's TV PvP, bro. Nice. Blast suit. Ah, blueprint. Nice. Maybe in that house over there, there's gonna be some stuff. We're picking up all the scraps so we can, like, uh, you know, juice it up, I guess. Okay, you can't open doors by shooting them. You have to, like, actually enter them, I guess. Is that a weapon crate? Storage crate. Okay. What? What are you doing? What are you do? Are you a? Are you a person? Humpy. My brother went out to look for food. I haven't gotten to home since day in three days. He's still alive. I want to go find him, but I haven't eaten for a long time and have no strength. I miss mom. She said a man shouldn't cry easily. Why did she go with the baby in her belly? Does she know dad abandoned us and ran away with all the food? I miss my brother. I'm so scared. And he turned into a zombie, I guess. And this dude died. Brother. Oh, shit. Fuck. Fixoi, thank you so much for the prime. Oh, can we go up here? Ladder! Oh, big loot, big loot, big loot. more of these, so we're gonna go over here now. Let's go. Thank you so much for the Prime, though. I appreciate that. Dude, my eyes are so tired today, man. I don't know why. They're, like, so, like, uh, I feel, like, woozy. Almost. Ah! How did you... Bro, who moved that tree? Did you guys see that tree move? I think that must have been a, been a buck or something like that. That's crazy. Go all the way down here. Oi. I like the boss stuff, though. I don't know why I'm so, like... I always love boss fights for some reason. Whenever there's a boss fight with, like, a health bar or something, I always get so excited, no matter what game it is. Let's go over and pick this up, I guess. Oh, my God. Oh, my God! Okay, off-roading? Not a good idea. Yeah, just... Not a great idea to go off-roading, I guess. But we'll... we'll yeah, we'll make do... It, 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 this is like, sort of like, you know, oi. Oh, I get headlights. Oh my god, there's a deer. Hold. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay. Whee! Alright. Bonk. Alright, let's try to do one more. Let's do the final one real fast, guys. I know we can find some gear here, but I wanna... I wanna... Stop doing that, guys! Very rude! Very oh. Very what is he saying? What is he saying? I don't... I think he just... I think he was repeating me. Baby boo! <laughs> Yo, 
Yeah, I think he was just repeating what I said. Okay. Go up here. Scoot! Then I go this way. Do you kill them if you do this? Does this kill the deer? I guess it does. Oh. Yeah. I'm surprised how how Oh, oh, ramp, 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 ramp. Oh. Wicked airtime. There we go. Yeah, but so far no monsters really feel like scary, right? Everything you, you we kind of just crank. Meet Mary under the monolith. Okay, I'm I'm kind of like just I I, I want to see what where this leads us real fast, chat. I know we can do those uh, explore Brookham quests at the moment, but I wanted to see where this leads us at the moment. You know, weather Rome. It's thirty degrees in Rome. Jesus. God. Riding this bike is actually quite hard. Antarctica. I don't think anyone lives there, though. Does anyone live in Antarctica? I don't think so. Okay. Scientists do. Yeah, I guess they like have like bases there, right? Where they where they work and stuff, research facilities. Yeah, I suppose so. Oh my god, that's actually a cool looking bike, though. It, it is a sick bike for real. Talk to Mary. Nice work with the rift anchors. I guess you're the real deal after all. Barely made it out in one piece. It's interesting how there's a story in a survival game, though. It, 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 it's so many different vibes. But I think it was worth it. And I've made some discoveries regarding the deviation yeah. as well. Each time a rift anchor was activated, there was an obvious reaction inside the monolith. The deviation must be holed up inside. So what's the plan now? Let's go in together this time. I'm curious about that troublemaker inside. And besides, we're a team. I brought some ammo and meds for us as well. Now, let's go. All right, let's see what this is, chat. Before exploring the area, dangerous areas. Nah, I'm not gonna die, dude. Easy clap. Dude, she does look like Ada from Resident Evil. Yeah, she kind of actually does. All right, let's see what this, uh, this is. Probably gonna be a boss or something like that. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, one thing I really wish, though, is I wish the mobs were a little bit more difficult. But I guess it's... Yeah, because we're super early in the game, right? I would love to see some more difficult mobs, though. Yeah, she, she does really remind me of Ada. You made her walk? Hey, man. She's a, she's a grown woman, okay? She can do her own stuff. I'm in Big Daddy Toast territory. Big Daddy Toast. Alright. Monolith of Greed. So this is gonna be a boss? Oh, these- okay, I'm getting- I'm definitely getting boss vibes. Okay. You get some copper ingots and stuff like that for killing those. What is that? Ugh. Oh my god. Oh, it spawns them, I guess. Okay. How do I heal myself? Uh, with this, right? Got it. Are you gonna play this game more than a week? More than a week? I'm not sure. We're kind of just sponsored to play today. It's a sponsored stream at the moment, right? The Great One's Presence. Oh my god! I'm so sorry! This looks like a reactor. Public crafting facilities for all metahumans. Ah, so this is like an actual boss. Uh, 
Okay, so this is like a genuine boss. So before you can go, you can go craft all your stuff if you want to. Cool. Can I loot this? Alright, let's talk, talk to Mary. You made it. I knew I could count. Have a good day, You're Smooth. Quite good at handling deviants, aren't you? I gotta say. Exclamation mark! One human, Lucifer. To be a good teammate. Yeah, you can spawn a motorcycle whenever you want. Okay, I mean, let's try it out. Let's see what the boss is like. Defeat Rift Entity. Or you can team up with other players too. Ravenous Hunter level 10, recommended players too. Where the hell did Vades go? Vades! I think he left. We're gonna have to try. Uh, you haven't built the things so you can use your butterfly deviation? Yeah, could I do that here since I can prep for the stuff? I guess I can't. Equipment room. I'm kicking far behind because I didn't pay attention. Oh. Classic. I don't think I can do that here. Alright, well, let's just go try and see how it goes. Why not? I, I wouldn't assume a boss this early on is going to be hard anyway, right? Surely not. I'm a WoW gamer. Yeah, we take it slow. Alright, let's try. So you're supposed to be two people for this. This is our first boss. Savix did it solo. Did he play this? Help. Help me. <laughs> Shouldn't have tried to take what was yours. Oh, he played it the other day? Okay. Mercy, please. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. We are still waiting. Okay. Okay. Ravenous Hunter, level 10. I don't have my Deviant, man. Holy, but this is actually kind of sick. Holy... Okay. I'm getting Resident Evil vibes, yeah. What? I can't use my cipher though. I wonder if there's like another faces. Okay, there is, there is, there is. He's stunned, he's stunned. Don't run after me. I don't. I wouldn't like that. Oh, that's a gun. Wait, I can pick up the arm. Wait, shit. Oh! Oh my god. Bitch. Oh, big damn. Give me this. Give me this. Yeah, baby. Oh. Where are you? Oh, he's facing. Eliminate the spawners. Ah! No, no, I can't. Ah! Okay, the spawners. Okay. 
Okay. Oh my god, you little... No, 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 no. Okay. Dude, that's kind of cool. I like that. Okay, that was both spawners, right? Is there another one? Give me this. Healing, healing, healing. Pick up the Gatling. Got it, got it, got it. Facing him. We're level 56. We got... Okay, spawners, spawners. Okay. LOS, LOS, that stuff. Are the spawners on the side again? Okay, same places. I don't see any... Yeah, yeah, okay. Dude, the bosses are kind of cool. Different faces, different stuff. It's cool. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Break that gun. Yes. Whew. You seem to get a lot of sort of enjoyment out of variety games. Why don't you do more half an hour variety per week? I do more than half an hour per week. Oh shit. There we go. Easy. Control Max gain. Ooh, MP7, Hello, okay. Brazil. It has now been 18 months since we savored the low hanging fruit. Aww. Oh boy, a lot has happened since then. Yeah. The ostrich, whom I have named Albertino, is still in good health. That's great. I, however, worry for the zebra. Yeah. Get back to me ASAP. Wishing you a pleasant evening. I have no idea what you even just said. Thank you, GM Basket. Okay, so we have a 90% chance to get the slime. Let's go. Oh! We got him! Okay, so there's something I completely messed up, by the way, with, with our stuff chat. You you have like a like a like a like a pit that you can use. And it's like these like deviations. And I just literally haven't done used them at all. Uh, but I just got like a new friend, a festering slime. Yeah, I, I, I literally just haven't used it at all. The bosses are cool. Bosses are super sick. Actually, I love that. I think that that's, that's, that's huge. Your outfit? Yeah, yeah. Wait, my outfit is fine. What do you mean my outfit? Shake counter? Five. There you go. Um. <clears throat> ah! Ah! Oh my god. Oh, Mario was right. Oh gosh. Jesus Christ. Dude, that snapped my legs as well. Yank. Okay, what is this? Need to eat and drink soon, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for my in-game? Yeah. Oh, so this is where you can continue to... Uh... Ah, so we're back here. Mitsiko. You did it. I knew you 
you could. I don't know why I was so worried. Thank you. This really means a lot to me. Mm -hmm. The fluctuations in Stardust seem to have grown calmer. I thought you meant I. And I feel stronger now. The more deviations we contain, the more the world will stabilize. And the more Mitsuko's power can grow. Cool. We still have five more monoliths to shut down. Until then. So there's the five more bosses. Too dangerous for Mitsuko. Yes, but... Because a monolith is a boss. A huge step forward. You've done your best. And we are already starting to see a change. We should rally more support. But the Mayflies were wiped out by Rosetta. All because of me. I was too weak to save them. It wasn't your fault. None of us were ready to take Rosetta head on. And Rosetta's not the only threat out there. The Great Ones also covet Mitsuko. It's cool. Power. So remember, keep everything involving her a secret. We don't know who we can trust. Badass. Badass. Yeah, so there's five more bosses that we know of, at least, which is really, really cool. All right, but, chat, I think that's what we're going to call the stream for today. It feels like a good spot to, to call it as well here, but uh, honestly, really, really sick game. Um, if you guys are interested in checking it out, guys, it's called uh, Once Human. We were sponsored to to, to, today to play it. Um, obviously, it is free to play on Steam using the link, or you don't have to, it, it's free to play no matter what. But you can click it in the link, exclamation mark, one human. We have a little, uh, a little code for some extra goodies in the game as well, if you're interested in that. Uh, but that is for today's stream, though. Uh, tomorrow, chat, it is free to play and not pay to win. It's free to play, it's not pay to win, it's actually really cool. Really sick, like, post-apocalyptic vibes with the bosses and, like, there's in-game voice chat. It's kind of sick. I love it. Uh, but we're going to be back tomorrow, chat.